Right, so in video 1834, we made a couple of we made a lens out of a couple of bits of plastic and some water, and it worked brilliantly, actually. And I wanted to make a telescope out of it. Now, a telescope, we're going to need two lenses, and we're going to need two lens holders. So I'm turning to this stuff, which is builder's board. I go on about this a lot because it's really easily available in the UK. It makes a great building material. You can buy in the US a Sintra board, incidentally, which is a bit more expensive. However, that's what I'm going to use. And I cut a square 15 by 15 and drilled a hole in it the same size as the lens hole. Put a couple of, a little bit of sticky back plastic on there and then I can stick it on top of my lens and my lens will just stick there. And here is one in good Blue Peter fashion that I prepared earlier. So we've got a nice concave shape there and it's on this bit of builder's board so it's held nicely. Now we can put two of those together and that will make our lens. Of course we need to join them. In order to join them what, we, what I've been using is this tape. Now a word about this tape. This is acrylic gel tape. It's freely available on Amazon. It's used to repair mobile phones. It's really easy to use. It's nice stuff and you just put some around the edge. Of course we need to fill it so stick a straw in there, take our other one, pop it on top and we'll have our lens. Now I've rushed that because we did that in 1834. But if we do that, what we'll end up with is this, which is a bullseye lens basically with a straw sticking in it. That is now ready to fill with water. Once we fill that with water, we have the same lens that we had in 1834, but it's got this nice chunky bit of plastic around it so we can handle it. And we need two of them. So that's that one. And here is the other one. So now we have our two lenses to make our telescope. This one isn't as curvy as this one. I blew this one harder, this one more gentle, and we got our two lenses. Now we need to fill them with water and find out what their focal lengths are. And there they are filled with water, and to be honest, they're just beautiful. I've got this one, which is a focal length of 200 millimeters, and this one, which is a focal length of 100 millimeters. Now, this is completely trial and error, hey? So what we've got is the long focal length of 200, short focal length of 100. We're gonna get about a times two magnification, which is not great for a telescope, but trial and error stuff, and we're all giving stuff a go. I'm perfectly happy that we'll get some magnification out of it. They'll also be somewhere between 40 and 20 centimeters apart to be focused. But that is just a beautiful thing. Let me give you a close-up of how it magnifies. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so I had a bit of carpet tube that fit and I've glued it to the objective, the bit we look through. I've glued a little foot on here to keep it sort of level and I put a slice down there, squeezed it in to make a slightly smaller carpet tube. Now that one fits inside there and I can slide that up and down to get it focused. So all I have to do is take my ends there and glue that on there, slide it in there and we're away. We have ourselves a telescope. So let's do that. Okay, that's it. The clarity down the lens is actually a just amazing. Let me give you a shot down the, uh, the telescope if I can, just so you can see how clear that view is. <laughs> Isn't that incredible, eh? Those lenses beautifully clear. The optical quality on them is awesome. Now, okay, it's only a two times magnification and I need to play around with it a little bit. But here we have a telescope made from scrap bits and pieces for the cost of about, I don't know, two pounds or something like that. So yeah, I could do with playing around with the lenses to improve the magnification, but certainly as a proof, can this be done from water and plastic? Yeah, it can be done. And then I thought it was awesome, actually. I've really enjoyed doing that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.